is I just thought I'll make a quick tutorial video of um, one of the tasks I'm making for one of my missions. So this task, all I'm going to have is this area here is an enemy outpost and I'm going to make it so when Blue 4 enters the area they'll get a message saying a bomb's going to go off and they have to run away. So first things first, go place down the player Okay, easy peasy. Now I'm going to place down a trigger. And I want the activation to be blue 4. So in blue 4, this, I want um, a text message to come up in the middle of everyone's screen. So a bomb has been spotted run and to go over I'm gonna add a little radio chatter just, just go over that click OK OK so now when a player a blue 4 player enters this trigger they'll get that message now of course I need to make the bomb so, Blue Peter style, I have one pre made. Doo -doo -doo. Don't worry, I'll explain all of this in a minute. So, F3, make myself a trigger, same size as the other one, same activation, Blue 4. And all we need here is this. So bomb equals it will spawn a GBU which is a big bomb on the marker named explosion and because this is a multiplayer game and I don't want an explosion to happen for each player I'm going to put and is server so the explosion will only happen on the server machine. Now if you're wondering why I haven't put that on this one it's because I want the message to appear on everyone's screen. If I put and is server on this then it will only appear on the server and of course no one's playing on the actual server. So they won't see it. But anyway. Now I just need to make a marker named explosion as that's what the marker is called in the trigger I'm going to call it explosion 2 okay explosion 3 and I'm going to change this to explosion 3 so they, they're linked together and I want another bomb to go off at the same time I'm going to call bomb 1 so we don't get confused and I want this bomb to go off on explosion marker 4. Just got to copy this marker. Name it explosion 4. Okay, now obviously I don't want the bomb to go off straight away otherwise the blue 4 won't have any time to run when the run message comes up. So what I'm going to do is click countdown. Minimum timer I want to add some randomness to this bomb so minimum 8 seconds middle 10 seconds maximum time before the bomb goes off 12 seconds so after the bomb goes off I want to add a hint forward outpost destroyed although I want that hint to appear on everyone's screen so I'm just going to make another trigger. So the reason I did that is because this trigger has the server and if I put a hint in that on act then it won't appear on everyone's screen. But if I put it in a normal trigger without his server then it will, will appear on everyone's screen. 
and I want this to actually pop up when bomb uh, X. So when these go off, bomb X equals true. So when bomb X happens, when bomb X is true, aka when the bomb goes off, a hint will pop up forward outpost destroyed. Simple as that. Now, to add a bit of flavour, I'm going to add some watchtowers. Look out mast. Gonna add two of them. And I would put people on top of it, but that's quite a lot of work. So here we are. Just want to make a trigger like normal. Make the activation a radio alpha or Charlie, like whatever, you got free in your mission. So on condition this, and all you want to do is copy and paste this. Um, script into your on act. Now what this does is when I call the trigger through the, the radio it will copy and it will basically put the coordinates into my clipboard so I can copy and paste it into a unit and I'm just going to quickly show you. Climb up here This script saves you faffing about trying to get things sitting the way you want to. It makes things much more easier than normal. So I'm just going to press uh, radio alpha. Okay, that's done. So now I'm going to create a blue 4 unit or whatever unit you want standing where you did call the thing and you press control V in the initialization and there you have it click OK and group him you can stick him anywhere on the editor it doesn't matter because he'll automatically spawn where you where the coordinates tell him to spawn so as you see simple as that He's now stood and looking the same way I was. Similarly, I can stick myself on top of the building here in the editor. So, go get these coordinates. And I want um, some static want a tow launcher up here. So, same as before, control V in the initialization. Ungroup, stick this anywhere. I'll throw it over there. Click preview. And there you have it. Place down a group. Normally I'd just recommend using the DAC spawner because that's much more simple but I've already done a tutorial on how to use that. Uh, it's called DAC something, just watch that if you want to use DAC instead. It's much more efficient and much better than doing it this way. Okay, so obviously I don't want my player to die. So this allow damage false we'll actually keep him alive while I'm testing this so this is the first task so let's give it a go this will go properly this time so I'm just going to kill these
Okay, so now we're going to see everything we've just scripted in the editor happen. So, hopefully when I run into this road, I'll get a message telling me to run. And a few seconds later, a bomb will go off. Okay. Now we run away. And that is a very simple task, but still pretty cool. Now you can add other effects onto this, you can make a fire come out of the building if you wanted. It's very simple to do that, and yeah, it just adds to the overall immersion. So, hope you find this video useful, and I'll see you next time.